Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, you know, coming from Australia, we weren't too sure what to expect. And uh, obviously, it's a, a big trip over, but we sort of heard um, you know, there's a lot of expectation, a lot of hype on this meet, and it certainly delivered. I think getting out there racing um, you know, was fantastic, and we sort of knew as soon as we arrived. Um, Cal Condor's sort of spirit and enthusiasm was, was right up there and um, talking amongst the Americans it sort of made it sound like you were part of a college team almost and in Australia that's sort of something we never really experienced and um, you know they put on a fantastic show tonight and uh, a great deal of sort of um, camaraderie amongst the teams and a little bit of banter as we call it in Australia, a little bit of chat between the teams but at the same time um, the racing was fantastic and the show, I think, uh, you know, was just as amazing. Worth the expenditure to your body and to all the travel? And Absolutely. Um, you know, I've always said in Australia, you know, we're so far away from the rest of the world and the swimming world. Every opportunity you get to race against, against the best in the world is, is a fantastic opportunity. And um, through sort of 2015, 2016, 2017 even, I sort of said, that's something I want to do more is, is travel to where the best in the world is racing and I guess the ISL gives us the opportunity to A, mix with other athletes and, and call them team members. That's one of the reasons we're most excited with um, you know, swimming for an American team is we sort of had the opportunity to swim for a London team which is sort of 80% Aussies as well. We sort of said let's mix with Americans and you know, see why they're the best swimming nation in the world and, and learn from them as much as possible. And, um, you know, the travel is, is definitely worth it to be here tonight. Where are you in the, the backstroke versus I am decision process for next year? Yeah, it's tough. Um, we've sort of been through a few different things and um, I sort of said to my coach, this period right now, in the next sort of month or two, we're going to uh, look at a bit more medley work, um, focus on a few technical aspects. Um, I know if I want to be world's best in the medley, I'm going to fix my brush stroke. There's a few little technical aspects and a few um, you know, brush stroke kit that I sort of haven't done for a number of years. So we're fixing a few things and then um, obviously I'll race both the back stroke and medley here, which is fantastic. And we'll probably make a decision um, you know, early next year once um, you know, the ISL is finished and then we'll race a few long course meets back home to Oz. And, um, it's not an easy decision, obviously. Both the, I sort of said to Dean, uh, my coach, you know, my heart is definitely with the backstroke. It's sort of what I love the most. I grew up sort of being a backstroker, or I, I was obviously 2016, I saw him in, in Rio as a backstroker, and Dean said to me, well, actually, you grew up as a medalist, you know, before you were sort of your, your best years as a teenager, you normally were a medalist, and, um, you know, the aspect of going back to that is also exciting as well. So it's not an easy decision. Um, We've even spoke about the potential to do both. Um, obviously, Ryan Lofty tried it in 2016, and it's not an easy double to do. So, um, or 2012, um, sorry. But uh, yeah, I'll, I think I'll do one with the other.